To get bread with big holes in the loaf, the dough is usually very high in hydration, which can feel tricky to handle if you are starting out. I want to show you how I knead and shape this kind of dough. First, I mix the flour, water, and yeast in a bowl, and let it rest for thirty minutes for the gluten to form bonds. Then I added the salt and oil to the bowl and mixed it roughly before turning it out onto the bench for kneading. This kind of dough is very wet and can't be kneaded like washing a towel, so the way to knead it is by slapping it onto the bench and fold it. If you are going to make your first high hydration dough, I recommend just mixing it and not kneading it all. The loaf will have a slightly different texture in the end. But the difference is subtle, and it will be a very nice loaf of bread anyway. Once the salt is well mixed into the dough, it will become very slack and sloppy, and can't really be picked up and slapped anymore. When this happens, just keep folding it, and it will come together eventually. Finally, the dough will become elastic and easier to slap and fold. The way to tell if it's ready is by stretching a little dough, and if you can stretch it into an th opaque thin film, it's ready. Should be able to stretch it so it gets pretty thin without really breaking easily. Now we'll pop it back into the bowl, and there it rises until it's double and bubbly. Which normally takes about eight to ten hours for me. Shaping high hydration dough can feel tricky if you are just starting out. I want to show you a way I figured out, which I think makes it a little easier. First, use a wet rubber spatula and ease the dough out of the bowl onto a well-floured bench top. Now I'm going to wet my hands and use wet hands to spread out the dough a little bit. Now I need a dough scraper. Let me dry my hands a little bit. Now I'm using the dough scraper to help me fold the dough into a third. I want to make sure there's not too much dry flour that gets included in the final dough. So I'm dusting it off where I'm folding. Now I'm gonna fold it into a third again. I'm going to rice the dough on a tea towel in a can basket. This is my basket. You can use any container you want. I'm just going to dust this tea towel really well with flour. The flour kind of sticks to the towel, making it easy to spread out evenly, and also it's easy to make sure there's no empty spots. I just need to make sure the towel is really well floured, so when it's time to bake the bread, it will turn out without sticking. Now I'm just gonna roughly fold the dough into the shape of my basket. Now use the dough scraper to help me move the dough onto the tea towel.
And now I'm just gonna pick up the tea towel with the dough in it and drop it into the basket. And now I'm just gonna fold the sides into the center to stretch the skin and making sure there's not too much dry flour in the folds. Now I'm just gonna pinch the seam together. This is actually going to be the underside of the bread when we bake it. And now I'm just gonna dust the top with a bit more flour. And then I'll cover it with the tea towel and let it rise until it's about doubled and really puffy. When it's time to bake, just invert the loaf onto a paddle and slash the top with a really sharp knife and send it into a really hot oven. And here's a nice loaf of bread.